welcome to St. John's News. I'm your host, Mallory Caps, and you're joining me live from my office. Today is a very important day in our church. It is Stewardship Sunday. Stewardship Sunday is the Sunday where we decide how we're going to have our next year, what are our goals, what are our hopes, and how you can be involved. Today, you would have received a stewardship card. On the front of the card, you have a place for your name and phone number. Below that is listed the five areas that you pledge to uplift our church when you join. The first being prayers. Are you going to pray for our church? Will you pray for the people of our church? Second, your presence. That's being involved, being a part of the various ministries here. Your third is your service. That's how you'll serve the community and our church in uplifting the members of the church and the community. Four, your gifts. We're all talented in some areas. What area can you give your gifts to? And then lastly, your witness. Being able to show the love of God to the world beyond. On the back of your card, you'll notice two separate areas. On this side of your card, you have your name and phone number again, but also it lists the ways you will pledge your money to the church, whether you'll be a person who gives regularly or one times gifts. There's also a place for you to indicate if you would like more information of how to include St. John's in your will or how you would like to leave St. John's any stocks and bonds. To the other side, you will see various areas of the ministries of St. John's. We'd like to know if you have any interest in helping in these areas. Maybe you just want to provide snacks. Maybe you want to help plan. There's lots of ways to serve. The first one being administrative needs. That's serving in our church office. When our staff's unavailable to sit at the front desk, will you open the doors and take phone calls and help around the office with all the administrative needs we have to keep our church going? The second is children's ministry and youth ministry near and dear to my heart. Will you be able to provide snacks for real kids or UMYF? Will you sit and be a second person in the services and the events that we have to help provide accurate supervision and to provide safe sanctuary for our children and youth? Will you serve on the council and be someone who plans and sees how we can take these areas in various directions? Third, you have adult ministries. That includes Bible studies, VIPs, other events that are catered to our adult ministry. Then, family ministries, one of our very important groups that provides intergenerational ministries. This group provides game nights, the chili cook-off, and various new events that I'm sure our new team will come up with. Women's ministry, the UMW, and all the th circles that they participate in. UMM, Men's Ministry, the amazing group of men in our church who strive to set an example for us. Would you like to participate in those? Evangelism Ministry, the ministry that helps with our shut-ins, that helps with welcome bags and making new guests and new visitors feel welcome. Worship Ministry, where you're able to to set the altar and prepare our sanctuary and the elements that we'll need to provide a, a reverent and joyful worship service. Usher ministry, being able to be the ushers on Sunday morning to help with new guests and show people what they need and where they should go. Greeter ministries, an opportunity to welcome the new people and welcome old people and just be the first friendly smiling face that they may see. The music ministry, getting to be a part of the choir, the bells, the children's choir, all the wonderful ways that our church provides music and joy and singing to our congregation. Stewardship ministry, that ministry has a special place. They get to help write the Lent devotional. They help with Advent devotionals. They help promote Stewardship Sunday and tell the stories of how we're able to give as a church. Education ministry, which covers Sunday school, Bible studies, and many other opportunities for us to grow as disciples in Christ. Our missions ministry, the way our church fulfills the Great Commission. How do we go out into the world? How do we offer the love of Christ in a practical way to those around us? Technical support ministry, where you're able to help with the soundboard, with the videos, with the PowerPoint presentations, and help make sure that we provide a good service both to our people in our church and those who are watching at home. Maintenance and building support ministry, 
Are you gifted in an area that helps with plumbing, electrical, building furniture, making projects around the church to make our church better, the facility aspect. This is a great opportunity for you. And lastly, we're needed. Maybe you're just willing to help in any way you possibly can. You do not have to click just one box on this. You can click as many as you like. We are looking forward to the 2022 year. We are excited for where our church will head, and we want to personally invite you to join us on January 22nd. It's a Saturday where we will be planning and dreaming as a church council. That is for all of the new church council members, all of the old church council members, and anyone in our church who is interested in serving. We love you guys, and we could not do this without you. I am Mallory Caps. over and out. <laughs>